Hello everybody, this is Albert with Green Tea House. I hope you're doing well today. Today we're gonna to talk about six reasons you should avoid drinking tea that come in tea bags. Now before I begin, I recommend you check out part one of this series where I talk about the number one reason why you should avoid drinking tea that comes in tea bags. And that's more health related. This is more tea related, so to speak. So where did tea bags come from? Tea bags started around uh, the turn of the 1900s. Thomas Sullivan is typically accredited as the guy who invented tea bags. There was a patent for tea bags before that, but he was an exporter of tea and coffee. And what he did was he was getting the leftovers of the fannings. The fannings are kind of like the shavings that you see uh, when tea was being sold at markets and so forth and so forth. And so it was like the sawdust. It's essentially sawdust of tea. And he thought, well, you know, this is a good entrepreneurial opportunity. So he gathered that stuff and put it into little bags and he would give it to different people. But the intention was they were supposed to cut it out of these bags and then uh, steep it the, the, the traditional way. But people like the convenience of tea bags. And so it stuck. And then after that, tea bags were about started to become mass produced by the 1920s by machines. And of course, we've had tea bags since then. And in fact, I would tell you, I mean, if you talk to your, your, your parents, your grandparents, they drank from tea bags. Tea bags is the way people have been drinking tea uh, for the last 100 years. But if you look at overall history of tea, we've had tea for 4,000 years. This is just a blip in the radar, and I would, and I would you know, hazard to say a deviation and an aberration uh, that we've been drinking in these bags and that we should leave the bag. Because aside from convenience, and I could, I could hazard, look, I, I tell you, I carry around in my satchel, my computer satchel, or wherever I'm at, I carry around in a, in a Ziploc bag varieties of teas and I have like a metal diffuser ball that I can use. So it's not like I even need tea bags. There's no convenience of it because I can just carry it on my own. But for most people, they go to the grocery store, oh, there's tea, let's get tea bags uh, that, that are already in tea bag form. And so they get it and they don't really think about it. But certainly there's been a resurgence, I would say, the last 10 years with the kind of artisanal loose leaf tea movement where people are varying back to uh, loose leaf tea and not use tea bags. So what are some reasons we, we should avoid drinking tea that come in tea bags. Well, the number one reason is just inferior quality. It's just, it's, it's almost always inferior quality to get tea that comes in tea bags. And look, I'll show you a little video here. So this, I'm not gonna name the brand because I don't wanna malign them, but this is a very well-known brand of green tea. And look at it, it's sawdust, it's garbage. And I juxtapose it next to our dragon well, which is a Chinese green tea. And you can see the difference. I could juxtapose it with gunpowder. I could juxtapose it with a Japanese tea. I could juxtapose it with any loose leaf tea. And it's just gonna be a better quality tea because you're actually getting the leaves, the actual leaves of the Camellia sinensis plant. Where you look at this, this is just sawdust leftovers. And as a result, it's just inferior quality tea. The taste isn't gonna be as good. The quality, the freshness, all these things are gonna be inferior. And I think, look, most people don't even think about it. They just see the tea bag and they don't think about like what's inside this tea bag. And it's just crap. If you look at black teas, we've talked about before, I'll, and I'll try to remember to put the banner here on the top. Black tea, the large majority of, of black tea is CTC, which is just, curled, crushed, torn, CTC. It's just, again, it's sawdust. So if you were to open your Earl Grey or your English breakfast tea, it's the same thing. It's just sawdust. It's just garbage. So that's the number one reason. It's just you're getting an inferior grade quality tea. Now we'll talk about what about tea that's loosely that comes in tea bags. We'll talk about that at the end. Another reason is just it's not as fresh as I mentioned. A lot of the the flavor that that would you would get in a tea, like a lot of the essential oils that are in it, are just lost if you're drinking the sawdust. So it's just the taste isn't going to be as good. Another reason is just going to be that you can't uh, s steep it repeatedly. So with tea leaves, we've talked about it in an ep a previous episode, like session. So you can get 
but the dragon well that I just mentioned. And you can re-steep that three times, four times. We call these a session. One session equals three or four steepages. And when it comes to tea bags, you can't because it's lesser quality stuff. Now, you can go back and re-steep it, but you're going to notice that you're just not getting, I mean, the, the flavor is already crappy, but you're going to get even less on each re-steepage because that tea is not really meant. It's meant to be a one and done. And that goes to the next thing. The next thing is, is price. We think of tea bags as being cheaper, but because you cannot re-steep them, they actually are end up being the same price as loose leaf tea. So we, th there's this idea that loose leaf tea is more expensive. And if you look at the package, for example, you might think it is. But remember, you can re-steep. And so you can use it more often. Now, I would tell you, now once you've steeped leaves in their in their wet you can't put it back in the fridge and then re-steep it tomorrow uh, because of the, the, the issue with mold but instead of like steeping three different tea bags in one given day you can just re-steep that that tea again so it price wise it's the same another issue is the biodegradability issue with these tea bags most tea bags are going to have polypropylene and this is a type of plastic and so if, even if you put in a compost bin or you just throw in the trash, it takes a long, 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 long time for these to degrade. And we talked about in the, number, in the, the first episode here of the, of the dangers of the, the microplastics that we're all ingesting because of this. So regardless of what kind of fiber it is, and yes, there's better quality fibers that they have now, regardless of the quality of the fiber of the tea bag, you're still dealing with biodegradability. You're still dealing with the environmental issues of the tea bag. Now, what about if you're going to a coffee shop? What do you do there? A couple of things. If you, and we have an episode, what do you do when you go to a coffee shop? But that's more about, about steps that you should take to optimize your tea experience. So if you're gonna to go to a coffee shop and you're just a big tea drinker, first of all, if you live in a large town, you have the option to pick which coffee shop you're gonna to go to. And if you really are an aficionado of tea, I would not be going to any coffee shop that gives you tea in a tea bag, especially if it's tea bags that you can tell are the typical uh, low-grade fannings, the ones that I just showed you earlier. So if you go to a coffee shop that sells tea, the, the par excellence would be they show the tea leaves like in, in, in canisters. And so they have varieties and their coffee shops are like this. I'm gonna give credit where credit's due. And then you pick it and then what they'll do is they'll put the tea leaves in a bag and then give it to you. So that, that is the ideal, is that you're gonna go to a place that already has them in a canister or a glass jar. Now, some places will sell tea that come in tea bags that are loose leaf. So that is another option, but I like it when they haven't put it in the bag yet. But those are your two options. The other thing is you, if you're really a big tea aficionado like I am, just invest in a, in a diffuser or one of these ball diffusers. And so if you go to a place that has the loose leaf in the jars, just tell them, hey, can you just give the, the leaves to me like, you know, in, in a in a in a in a bowl or whatever and then you put them in here because that way you avoid the plastic issue because you don't know the quality of those tea bags you don't know the toxicity of those tea bags so why don't you control that by just having one of these around the other thing about tea bags is they don't even if they are if there are tea leaves in there even if they aren't they're typically mostly constrained and so one of the things about tea and especially we talk about with oolong is that they will unroll out and they need a lot of space. Get that, 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 that surface uh, area, a surface area of the tea leaves. And when they're in tea bags, even if it's tea leaves and not the fannings, because the fannings don't need any space because they're just crap. But even if they're tea leaves, if they're in a bag, they, they don't have the ability to expand out as much. And therefore, that's another reason why you should just use art artisanal tea leaves. Another option you have if you really love tea is go to a place that's got tea leaves and then bring your cup, bring your go on, bring it whatever and then tell them here's my go on, here's my cup. Put the leaves in here, put the hot water, but make sure it's the right temperature and then you can just control it completely and you don't have to worry about about the bags at all. The other thing about 
tea that comes in tea bags, and I should have mentioned this earlier, is that there's just a higher pesticide risk because why, as a whole, we're not going to name the brands, but the, the, the well-known brands don't really care about the organic stamp or the organic nature of the tea. And so you're much more likely to get higher pesticides in your tea. And unfortunately, where tea is mostly grown, which is China, um, they don't really care as much about the organic part, at least the tea that they're exporting. Now, the, the tea that they drink in the country is going to be a different quality and different caliber. But that's another thing where if you're looking at artisanal loose leaf tea, like the tea that we have, the purveyors of these teas are going to make much more of an effort to make sure that the tea is going to be organic. So in closing, guys, we all go to coffee shops. I would tell you that there's definitely options out there as to what you should do. I would just stay away in your home. You should have no commercially made tea that comes in bags. Invest in loose leaf tea, preferably ours, and then use these if you need to travel or use a diffuser, a canister diffuser with these things, and just stay away from the inferior quality of tea bags for the aforementioned reasons. Guys, I'd love to hear from you. Post in the comments. Until next time, take care, God bless, and pray.